The Gauteng government is intensifying the fight against crime. Uh, the uh, provincial government uh, is unleashing a second unit of uh, crime prevention wardens that's currently taking place. The new crime busting unit is expected to change uh, the work of uh, law enforcement officers across uh, the province to accelerate the fight against crime. I don't think that would be changed, but that is to assist. And uh, the premier of uh, Gauteng, Panyarzal Sufi, is currently addressing the uh, brand new batch of uh, crime fighters. Let's take you live there with the Premier on the podium. Not for three months, not for six months, but forever. Five months ago, these young people thought their country has abandoned them. Five months ago, these young people were on a long list of people that are unemployed. Five months ago, these young people thought their government is not caring for them. But six months later, these young people are not only employed, but they are doing wonders in protecting our communities every day. So peace wardens. I want to thank you for your discipline. Peace wardens, I want to thank you for accepting our offer. I will be the first one to acknowledge that there were teething problems. Some of you on day one you might not have your own boots. Some of you on day one you might not have your own belt. Some of you on day one you might not have your own beret. Some of you on day one might not have your own car. Some of you on day one might not have your firearm. Some of you on day one, you didn't even know where you are deployed. I'm proud to declare that from now on, all the things that were not there, they are fully there. You are now fully equipped to go and fight crime in our province. We are giving you 200 cars to fight crime. We have concluded training those that are ready to carry weapons. We are ready to release weapons to you, to those that have passed training, so that you can shoot when the enemy shoot at you. We are ready to take you for special training. With us is Skolo Aspeli. You are going to be trained every day. You are going to be trained every month. You are going to be trained every year so that those that think we rushed you to go to the street, they must eat their humble pie. You will be deployed. You will be deployed to support the police. We are not replacing the police. We are not policemen, we are supporting the police. We will deploy you to support all law enforcement agencies. We will deploy you to protect all our people where they need protection. Gone are the days Those days are gone. Gone are the days because they are being bullied. Those days are gone. Gone are the days they are days are numbered. Gone are the days those days are gone. Gone are the days where our people are scared of gunshots at night. Those days are gone. We are releasing you to go and protect our communities, all of them. But in releasing you, we want to tell people of Gauteng, this is an integrated crime prevention plan. This is an integrated crime prevention plan that includes the highest form of technology. The first form of technology, 
is to install CCTVs in all our townships in Gauti. We are proud that the first township to receive CCTVs, those CCTVs are now connected and they are live in deep sleuth and we are bringing them here in Zakani, we are taking them to Tembisa, we are taking them to Katleo, we are taking them to all our townships so that no one can do crime without us seeing that particular individual. We are saying to you, crime prevention wardens, you are not going to do your work alone. From now on, we are deploying almost 180 drones that will go and search the place first so that by the time you arrive, you know the nature of the crime you are going to fight so that you don't release you to criminals that are heartless. We are proud to say we have ordered six helicopters, two of them are here. These helicopters are going to be your backup to fight criminals and these helicopters are going to be a source to direct you where criminals are so that you can go there and take out those criminals wherever they are hiding. We are resourcing you with the best form of technology to speak when you see crime and you need backup. All of you, without exception, you will have the highest form of technology to speak when you need help, but the form of technology to press when you feel that you have arrived at the situation that needs backup. We are releasing you to do one thing and one thing only, to make Houghton safe. We are not happy with lawlessness. And I'm saying to the citizens of Gauteng, what has happened at Maponya Mall, where taxi drivers think they can do as they wish, they must watch out. After we've trained you, after we've resourced you, after we've armed you, there will be no lawlessness in our province in Gauteng. We also want to warn those executive mayor. This force will be trained so that there is no one, also begum cook, whoever they need, whoever they like. We will stop that so that there is no informal settlement that is not authorized in our province. This force is going to be trained. This force is going to be equipped. This force is going to be supported so that in Gauteng we can reclaim our peace again and ensure that criminals have no space in our province. So I want to take this opportunity to say to our community members, this 6,000 that you see today, as Gauteng government, we are sending a message to all young people that are unemployed that we are ready to employ you in Gauteng. On the 16th of June this year, on the 16th of June this year, when we commemorate and remember June 16, we are saying to young people and all people that are unemployed in Gauteng, we don't want to celebrate June 16 being unemployed. We are tired of unemployment, and I'm proud that the government that I have the honor to lead, on the 16th of June, we will advertise 8,000 new permanent jobs for all people to apply so that they can join the Houghton government. These jobs, if you want to be a receptionist, 
If you want to be an engineer, if you want to be a clerk, if you want to be a doctor, if you want to be a teacher, if you want to be a cleaner, if you want to be a security guard, if you want to be a clerk, if you want to be a financial officer, if you want to be a porter in a hospital, if you want to be a nurse, if you want to be anything that government offers, on the 16th of June, we are advertising 8,000 posts so that we can fight poverty in Gauteng. This is our commitment to ensure that we don't only fight crime, we fight poverty. And we are not doing this only in the month of June. In the month of July, we are also advertising 6,000 new posts. All those who want to go and clean our street, fill our potholes, cut grass in our street, in July, on the 8th of July, we are advertising 8,000 new posts so that our townships can be clean. We will fix our townships. We will make our townships clean. We will ensure that our people in the township, they get jobs every month. We will ensure that our townships are no longer places of crime and we'll ensure that in our townships, life gets better so that our people can live better in all our townships. So peace officers, I want to release you. And in releasing you, my message is very clear. Don't disappoint us. My message is very clear. You know what is right. You know what is wrong. Don't do wrong things. Our peace wardens, I'm proud of you. Those that went to Loftus Stadium to protect Ned Bank Cup final and allow Orlando Pirates to win that cup, I'm proud of the work that we have done there. On the 17th, Bafana Bafana is playing Morocco. Let's go to FNB and make sure that there is no one's car that is going to be broken in. There is no one that will do petty crime because you will be there. So I'm releasing you. Where politeness is needed, please be polite. Where roughness is needed, please continue to be polite so that you can demonstrate that you are doing your work peacefully. We are proud of you. We are happy now that you are now fit and proper. I was going through you doing the parade observation, I can see now you are fit and proper. I'm releasing you to each and every township. I'm releasing you to each and every ward. I'm releasing you to each and every street so that you can go there and support the police and maintain peace and order. Those that don't respect you, they will regret. Pesguabo, Sebong. Thank you so much.